the Golden State Warriors to sign Juan Hernan Gomez this summer? We're going to be going through that and answering that question in today's video. And I'm going to be giving you five key reasons why I think Juan Hernan Gomez is a perfect fit for the Golden State Warriors and can help them win another NBA championship. So don't forget to like this video. And if you do want more Golden State Warriors content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. Guys, 99% of you aren't subscribed, so it'd mean the world if you could subscribe to the channel. But let's get straight into the first reason. And the first reason being, Juan Hernan Gomez is a great scoring big man. Now, as you all know, we do have Kavon Looney at that center position. However, he really isn't that much of a scorer. He's more of a rebounder and he knows how to distribute to players such as Steph, Clay to get those buckets. Hernan Gomez, on the other hand, is a great scorer. He can shoot the three ball, shoot that mid range, and he's got a great touch inside. And I think that's going to play a really big advantage, especially for him coming off the bench. It's something that they could really add, especially in that big man line. Lineup. Now, James Wiseman, yes, he is a good scorer inside, but I wouldn't really say James Wiseman is a great mid-range and three-point shooter just yet. And this season coming up, it's still not certain whether he's going to be playing a complete season or whether they're going to be, you know, monitoring him as he goes on. So adding someone like Hernan Gomez, especially adding a scoring big man is going to be very, very important. Now, not only can he just shoot, you know, mid-range or inside, his three ball, like we talked about, is very good. His best season was actually actually last season compared to three point percentage where he was actually shooting 43%. So that was really good to see for Utah. Now his greatest season that he actually played was 2019 to 2020. He has been coming back from injury, but in the 2019, 2020 season with Minnesota, he was actually averaging 12.9 points and also had 7.3 rebounds and 1.3 assists. So he was putting up some pretty good stats, especially only playing around 20 minutes. You know, like I said, when it came to Utah, his latest season and also San Antonio Spurs in Boston he kind of moved around a lot this season and he didn't really play a lot of games and his minutes were very restricted so it really is hard to put up some great stats but he was still getting boards around the five five rebound mark he was also getting a couple of points still he was still averaging five points but like I said he was only averaging around eight minutes a game so he wasn't getting a lot of game time especially coming back from injury but when it comes to Hernan Gomez I think you know having a scoring big man is very important and it's going to play a real huge part especially adding a scoring threat such as Hernan Gomez to that Golden State Warriors roster. Reason number two is Juan Hernan Gomez's great athleticism. Now he stands at six foot nine, 214 pounds and he can jump very high great vertical and also can move you know pretty much like a small forward especially with his height. Now six foot nine I know it's not as tall as let's say James Wiseman or Kavon Looney who stands at around 6'11 7 foot but you know in today's NBA where everyone's running small ball him at six foot nine he can definitely play that center position or also play that power forward but you know in today's nba everyone's rocking small ball there are only a couple of teams left that run a six foot nine at power forward but you know i think that's great because they can use that to their advantage when it comes to golden state you know they can use him at that power forward position if they want to run a little bit more smaller ball maybe kavon looney's a little bit too slow they can run him at center as well and i can think he can keep up and we did see that in the boston celtic series kavon looney he did play such a great period however there were times where they needed to run small ball especially with a certain lineup that Boston was running and when that was the case Kavon Looney was out and Draymond Green was actually playing center so to add someone like Juan Hernan Gomez I think he can move just as quick and agile as Draymond Green so I think it's good to have someone in that middle and he can also score get rebounds which is what he's good at as well you know he's had some great rebounding seasons averaging all the way to the tops of 7.3 rebounds a game so he has some pretty good numbers when it comes to rebounding defensively and offensively he really knows how to get into the right positions and his great vertical and height really do play a huge advantage for him but you know to add someone like him Juan Hernan Gomez I think is going to be very vital especially like I said before with James Wiseman still being 50 50 on whether he's going to play a complete season this season coming up Reason number three, and this is more of a business benefit, but Juan Hernan Gomez will definitely bring more fans to Golden State Warriors. As you all know, Juan Hernan Gomez was actually in the movie Hustle, where his name was actually Bo Cruz. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, guys, definitely go give it a watch. It is a cool movie. But I'm telling you right now, there are so many people that know Hernan Gomez after that movie. And now, you know, they just call him Bo Cruz. They're one of his favorite players because of the movie Hustle. It was a great movie. So like I said, definitely go give it a watch. 
watch but i think it is going to bring a whole new fan base guys you know hernan gomez has definitely got himself a name from being a good actor in that film and i think it is going to play a factor you know in jersey sales and also bringing people to the arena so i think that's kind of something that is a little bit slept on even this video right here if i made a video about hernan gomez let's say two years ago i feel like none of you probably would have cared but now that he's known as bo cruz which is honestly hilarious i think it's honestly fantastic and he can definitely bring that star power to golden state warriors even though they already have such star power as steph curry clay and draymond and even andrew wiggins to name a few so you know having him will definitely play a huge part definitely more fans would want to come watch golden state warriors jersey sales will definitely go up ticket sales are definitely going to go up so there is a benefit to the front office for signing someone like hernan gomez he's definitely a popular player as of right now you see a bunch of memes on him i might chuck up one you know on the screen right here but you know bo cruz hernan gomez whatever you want to call him i think it would be honestly fantastic to have him in a team that's already so popular like the golden state warriors reason number four and this is kind of a slept on reason but that is hernan gomez having such high iq and great efficiency i think this is very important especially with role players they don't have the luxury of putting up you know 10 15 shots a game like superstars like clay steph you know or andrew wiggins so they need to be as efficient as possible and that's what they try to really find in role players you know whether it's shooters whether it's big mans people that have really great efficiency and also high iq plays to get into the right positions to really complement steph clay and draymond so when he actually landed in utah he went for 6.2 points in 17 minutes while shooting 50 percent from the field and 43 percent from range and i think those are really really good numbers especially for a big man guys if i said those stats to you you probably think that was like steph curry stats when it came to his percentages because he's shooting at a really good percentage and that's what makes him so deadly out there he may only get you know three four five shots a game but he can definitely knock down them very very easily and really give the boost that golden state warriors need especially in the big man section now when it comes to big man kavon looney unfortunately he isn't a greatest scorer you know when you give him the ball no one's really expecting for him to make a move or score people are usually waiting for him to pass it off to someone like draymond or clay or steph and same with james wiseman james wiseman however is a little bit better inside but when it comes to that like i've said time and time again wiseman is still 50 50 so might as well get a big such as hernan gomez who can really get you a bucket give you eight ten points a game even though it may not be a lot it's definitely enough to really help push them and have them win another nba championship and i really do believe this guys when it comes to you know nba teams you know steph curry yes he is the mvp of the nba finals but all of those players in between really did have a part you know even if it was just four points even if it was just three steals two blocks whatever it was they all have a part in that finals winning and i think that's what hernan gomez can really bring to this team his iq on top of all that is really really good you know i think you know him being a lot older at around 26 years old i think he's turning 27 very soon however but him at 26 years old he doesn't play like a rookie or anything like that so he really knows the game he's kind they're kind of getting a good player where he has a good amount of experience but is still very young so he has a lot of athleticism and you know he's also adapting to today's nba so i think that's really good he's right at that sweet spot at around 26 turning 27 and i think that's really going to play a huge factor for him reason number five is juan hernan gomez's great defensive abilities now as you all know he does stand at six foot nine but he actually has a seven foot wingspan and on defense he was very active and disruptive averaging 1.1 blocks and 1.1 steals per 36 minutes so he's a great defender i think he really can switch on you know to maybe small forwards which is still very very good maybe sometimes shooting guards and i think that's honestly a really huge plus he really does move a lot you know like a small forward in that position so he can definitely chase down blocks get in front of the positioning because sometimes some bigs can be very sluggish and when they get a switch it can be game over but i can really see him switching on to let's say someone like jason tatum and doing a pretty good job staying in front of that so i think hernan gomez is honestly a perfect fit especially on the defensive end golden state warriors really do love to run a fast-paced basketball game on defense and on offense and hernan gomez definitely fits that puzzle his awareness and defensive iq really do play a huge part in him getting steals also him getting blocks but it also does help that he does have a seven foot wingspan like i mentioned before but hernan gomez i think it's honestly fantastic when it comes to the current bigs they have james wiseman and kavon looney they are very defensive 
defensive minded big man and I think Hernan Gomez definitely fits that puzzle but he also adds an offensive threat to it and I think that's going to be very important especially for the second unit now with the first unit you know you have Steph Clay Wiggins Draymond and Kavon Looney so you have enough offensive threats but now if you look at the bench we have people like Mac McClung who recently got signed and I did do a video on that recently but we also have players like Jordan Poole we also have other players like Dante DiVincenzo and now we have Juan Hernan Gomez who will honestly fit that puzzle and would just even add more scoring factor to it so that second unit is looking very very good even though we did lose players such as JTA Gary Payne the second and all that if we got someone like Juan Hernan Gomez I wouldn't be so mad I feel like we've done our best to actually make up for all the people that we have lost during this offseason so I think Hernan Gomez would be a perfect fit for this team you know on top of all that Bo Cruz as people like to call him he'll definitely bring a whole new fan base to it I know a lot of people that don't even watch basketball or NBA but they know about Bo Cruz and Hernan Gomez because of that movie so there's a lot of benefits to getting someone like him and I don't think it won't cost a lot to actually get him as well you know he's not going to be asking for 20 30 million or anything like that he knows he's a role player and he's willing to do that and just be accepted by any team in order to win and I think that's what Juan Hernan Gomez wants and that's also what Golden State Warriors want as well so it will be interesting to see how this all pans out so let me know down in the comments should Golden State Warriors sign Juan Hernan Gomez let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching and uh yeah guys I'll see you soon peace